and I love this gold hardware at the front. Oh, it's actually silver. Yeah. Maybe I do not know why I waited so long to try a Morgan trench coat. Well, I do know why, because they are super expensive. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me on another fashion video today. Quickly, wants to apologize that there wasn't a video last week, but I was quite tired from my fashion week, you know, the filming and the editing, so I needed just a little break. Today, I'm back with another fashion video, and today we're going to do a Morgan haul, as you could have guessed by the title. Now, I've talked about the brand Morgan before on my channel because I absolutely love that brand. I think the quality is really nice. Yes, it is a more expensive brand than, for example, like, say, uh, Trendyol. The dress that I'm wearing now is from Trendyol, but the quality is really good. The pieces last you really many years. I have some pieces in my wardrobe that I already have for like two years and they still look brand new. So that's why I really love the brand. And they had some quite lovely new in pieces. So if you fancy anything, then just like always, I will leave everything linked down below. Please, before we start, give the videos a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would absolutely love it if you join our community here. And without any further ado, let's jump in to the haul. Okay, you guys, here I am with the first outfit and I wanted to try this dress on first because I was very, very excited when I saw it on the website. I mean, I've seen it on the website quite a while ago and I thought, no, nah, I'm not going to do it because it's quite expensive and I don't know how much wear I'm going to have out of it and is dark blue really my color? But like I said, I am really obsessed with dark blue. I've said it in a previous video last week and can you blame me? I mean, this dress is so pretty and I love it with the red details on it and it has all this metallic and I'm not quite sure if it's gold or silver I think it's actually silver but it's not really a really bright silver it's a really dark silver if it makes sense I really like this dress it is pretty it fits perfectly it is so girly so feminine and I really think super much on style and on trends it definitely it gives me gossip girl vibes i think blair would definitely would have wear something in her like early ages like when she was 15 or 16 like the first season i think she would wear it definitely because she wears these colors quite a lot also together i just really like it with the little button down here and then a little uh, belt but it's it's really nice like a little bit of a horse bit and then it's supposed to be like little pockets here, but of course they're all just fake. They're just for the, um, to just to make it look nice. But the only thing is, I wasn't quite sure what kind of shoes I would wear with this. So I think I will go with my little ankle boots, the white ones. I think that could be the only option that work with this. Or if you have red or dark blue shoes, but I don't have those. So I think if you put in a white headband and a white handbag and then the white boots, I think that will match just pretty well because all the accessories are the same color. So I'm gonna try that to style it up with this dress because if you can wear it, then there is absolutely no reason for me to keep it. But let me know what you think of the first outfit because I think it is stunning. Here I am with the next red blue outfit. I promise you it's not going to be only red and blue, but I thought let's keep it in the same color palette for now. So this is a very, very short skirt from Morgan with gold hardware on the sides. Really loving that. And a blue knitwear, but it has like a red stripe down at the sleeves. And it looks really cute together. It looks really put together. I like it just as much as the other outfit. Maybe I like the dress a little bit more because that was like more a fit and flair, which is more like my style than this really bodycon fit. I do like it, of course, but the other one is just a little bit more comfortable. And if I sit down with this one, then it goes up even shorter, so I wouldn't be able to wear this to work, for example. And the other dress, I would happily wear to work. The knitwear is of course a piece on its own and you can actually match this with so many things and it doesn't have to be red on the bottom. You can just wear this with jeans or even with white jeans or with a white skirt, even like with a midi skirt. Really, the options are endless. 
Again, I would pair this up with white accessories to keep that in the same color palette and then I think you can actually have a lot of wear out of this. Half of the knit wire is like a ripped material and the rest is just not ripped, <laughs> basically. So half of the sleeves and half of the body is ripped and they even have like a really nice design here at the top. Okay, let me know what you think of this color palette. You see now two different outfits with it. And like I said, I'm quite sure they're going to be more through the whole season. And while we are still in the blue settings, I thought I'd also show you this jacket next. So this is a really nice jacket, again from the brand Morgan, because we're doing a Morgan haul. And like I said, I'm obsessed with dark blue. It is a slight different color than the knitwear and also than the dress. It is a little bit more lighter dark blue, if it makes sense. I think you can see the difference. Of course, it has lovely pockets and I love this gold hardware at the front. Oh, it's actually silver. Oh. But unfortunately, it is silver and I didn't quite see that, I think, good enough on the website. But if you're not so fuzzy about what kind of hardware, what kind of color your hardware is in your jackets, then this is the perfect jacket for you. And the sizing is just perfect. I love the length, it's just a little bit longer than the skirt. The arms length are good, it feels good to wear at the shoulders. It has actually a little bit like shoulder pads, so it's really structured and all. I love it that it has pockets of course, and it is just really nice color. It is really open here, so wear a turtleneck or wear a scarf if you are really cold, like me. From the back it also has a nice design. The jacket feels really nice, the material feels quite nice, it's not wool, so it's not going to be the warmest coat in the world, but really I think it's beautiful, like I said the length is super great and you can wear this up with really many accessories. Oh gosh, yes, Morgan really did well with this jacket. As always, let me know what you think. So here I am with a more natural color for me, which is white. And this is another midi dress from Morgan. In my fashion week, I also tried a midi skirt from them. If you have not seen that video, then please do, because I really liked that video. And I really would like to try to actually wear longer things than always the really short things. Not that I don't like them, I mean, they will always be my first choice. But sometimes you want to be covered up, sometimes you want to wear something else. Now personally I wouldn't wear this one because this one is very, very, very see-through. I don't know if the camera is going to pick that up, but I can totally see my underwear. So it's definitely not working. But this is really the vibes that I was like looking for. Because I really like it long, but it has to have a slit, otherwise for me it will just be not good enough. Because I'm quite short and if I wear longer things without at least some sort of skin or at least some sort of elements that you can still see your legs, I would be just totally like fall, fall away. People wouldn't see me, I would even be smaller than I am right now. So I really don't like that. With this outfit, I would totally wear my knee-high boots, the brown ones from Bon Prix. Really, they go with so many outfits, it was a perfect investment and they really weren't that expensive at all. I was drawn to this dress because of course of the design and I really like the button details that goes all the way to the side, but it's silver hardware again. Morgan does not really do gold, I have experienced. But anyway, I wouldn't wear this one, like I said, because it's completely see-through. But for example, if this was like a brown one, and I'm really going to look out for a brown one, with a lovely slit, I think that would be amazing. So let me know what you think. I'll show you also from the back and maybe you can see what I mean then but that you can totally see my underwear. Because it's like, it ends here. And it really annoys me. <laughs> because I'm like really bragging about this brand to you guys about how great it is and the quality is nice. But apparently they also have an issue that things can be really, really, really see-through. So next we have an outfit which is again totally me and my oh my do I love this. This is gorgeous. 
I love it. It's a really fluffy, fluffy, fluffy knit wire and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I'll definitely keep this one. And did my eyes buy actually gold hardware on the sleeves? Uh-huh. So this is great. I love it. Absolutely love it. The skirt, however, is a bit of a little bit of a problem. So I would definitely wear a white skirt with this, but another one, the one from Veramoda, which I also showed in my fashion week, would go so well with this, <laughs> let me tell you. But that's the point. The point is, it is silver hardware, so it won't go really well with the lovely top, the lovely knitwear, mm -hmm. uh, and it's kind of like see-through again. But overall, I really love the look. I really love it with white, definitely. I would pair it up with white. And this one is a little bit less restricted than the red one that I showed you. That one was really tight. This one I can actually really move quite well in. It fits really nice and well. It has pockets. But like I said, it is again so very much see-through and I don't like that. But how I think you can actually still wear this one is if you wear tights. And I mean white tights. And then wear really seamless nude underwear it's really tiny so there is no any lines or anything and you have to cut out the label from the inside because you can even see the label through the skirt and then the only thing is that you can still see the lines of where the pockets are but you have that also a lot with like jeans and people still buy that so this i love i love it with the lovely like uh, turtleneck i love the feeling of it i love the color of it and it is just instantly me. And these buttons are really, really cute to do a close up. The skirt, like I said, is really, really pretty. I like it a lot. But I'm just not gonna like wear it because of the really stupid silver hardware. I do, however, think that if this was gold hardware, people would totally buy it a lot more. I really do think so. Anyway, let me know what you think. Now my oh my, is this my lucky day or what? Because this is gorgeous. Absolutely, I do not know why I waited so long to try a Morgan trench coat. Well, I do know why, because they are super expensive. It has pockets, quite deep actually, which is really nice. And they actually have like a little button to close them up. And it is gold hardware. Yes, people, like I said, is this my lucky day or what? And of course, this is like the main color for a trench coat. Oh, I could really make lovely Instagram pictures with this, I think. That's something that goes through my mind now every time that I put on clothes. It's like, is this a nice outfit for Instagram pictures? Because it's kind of like what I try to do now. So anyway, this is just so, so nice. So it is this roughly beige color, and I know I'm not a beige person, but still, for a trench coat, I'll make an exception. And it's with this lovely, like, off-white details everywhere. The sleeves of my uh, knitwear are a little bit longer, so they will come out, but it's okay. I really love it with the, with the pink as well. So you can see it's all buttoned up, but I really love it. It's still above the knee. I think this is really, really nice, and I think you can wear this in this in between seasons, I could think still wear it now, like today, not in the mornings when it's all foggy and like six degrees, but when the temperature starts a little to go higher, just like in these afternoons, when it goes like 12 or 15 degrees, I think I could still wear this. And of course I can still wear this when we go into spring and stuff like that. It's a really nice material. It feels great. It feels like the best quality ever. <laughs> I'm not kidding. This feels so good. And the fitting is really, really nice. Of course, I'll wear a little bit of knitwear under it, so it's might a little bit tight, but I can still move around in it like, like really nice. Of course, my Koshinali bag will go great with that. Do we want to see that? I think we do. Yes. <laughs> I really do think this is also the nicest bag in the world. So with the belt, 
really easy to cinch it in and make it a really nice silhouette. And I just love it that it has gold hardware and all the way through the coat, like this white lining. It even has like something here at the top to make sure that it doesn't go open or something. I'll show you. You see like this little gold thing here at the top? I'm not sure what it is, but makes sure that it stays really nice, I think. And also from the back, I really like it because it has like this little cape detail. And that's what I think makes the trench coat more at the higher end of the designs. I think that it's just gorgeous. I think like Burberry has that as well. And of course, those are like the epiphany of trench coats. But this one is like, I think... 20 times less the price of one, of one Burberry coat, so it was still expensive, I'm not gonna lie, but you cannot deny that this is so, so nice. Even when it's open like this, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sold, people, I'm sold. So guys, this is already the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I really thought we had some lovely outfits, especially the first blue dress and the last trench coat and the last knitwear. Those three pieces were amazing in my eyes. So let me know if you agree with my picks. If you have joined my channel, then thank you, thank you so much. If not yet, then please subscribe and give the videos a thumbs up. It will absolutely mean so, so much to me. And I will see you all next week with a brand new video. Bye now!